Hi, this is JP from Nautilites over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time we are continuing our games through the Age of Apocalypse campaign box. And we are up to the third scenario, uh, Apocalypse uh, or the Age of Apocalypse. But uh, this is the first scenario featuring the main villain of the box, the Ap Apocalypse. And uh, we are playing with bishop in this playthrough with the pre-built leadership deck so uh, we have set up the scenario here so without further delay let's get started okay and we are set up here so there is a lot of things going on uh, the game didn't explicitly say for me to put the gene pool into play but it has the permanent and setup keyword so i thought that it should come into play it will key off uh, with the infinite uh, card uh, set set cards in this scenario so if we let that go uh, with too much of threat on it uh, those uh, minions will be harder to deal with. Then we had this uh, setup that we have. Uh, we set each prelate, uh, which are these guys, aside out of play, and Tyrant's throne scheme, and uh, all the rest of the apocalypse. Uh, villain cards. So uh, because this is the first time I'm playing this, I have no idea how hard this will be. So I will start from Apocalypse uh, version 1 uh, or stage 1 and there are stage 2 and stage 3 and 4. Uh, so we might advance to those stages later, but we are starting from the easy one. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, Apocalypse has toughness right from the get-go, which I forgot to mark. So uh, this um, main scheme is a bit different. So it is uh, Axe Threat Threshold per player. So uh, the Axe is the numeral in Apocalypse's printed hit points value, which is 9. So the threshold is 9 here. And when Apocalypse would be defeated, discard each attachment from him and heal all damage from his him instead. Remove Axe Threat from this scheme, ignoring any crisis icons. And uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not actually sure how we would lose the game. It doesn't say here. Maybe if the uh, Apocalypse grows too large and we are not able to handle handle him, then we will lose. Uh, nothing says straight on uh, what how we lose the game, but yeah, we probably will be defeated by damage or something like that. Then we have the Heart of the Empire uh, in play here. It has one acceleration token on it, and uh, when we advance, uh, there uh, we flip it to this side and when we defeat that we flip it, it to this side and how we win the scenario is to get uh, no longer worthy on onto Apocalypse. So we need to defeat these side schemes to win. But yeah, we are starting from the heart of the Empire. It comes into play with two threat on it and uh, threat cannot be removed from this scheme while a prelate minion is in play. Oh yeah, and uh, one thing we forgot to do in the setup is to pick a random prelate uh, minion. So I'm just shuffling, not looking, and picking the one that is left to the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'll say stop now, and we get the Shadow King. Okay, those others are set aside. So Shadow King is a three scheme, one attack, elite prelate, uh, five health per player, toughness, victory, three. Shadow King engages the first player, okay. And after the Shadow King uh, attacks you, choose an ally you control with the highest thwart. Either discard that ally or place threat on the main scheme equal to its thwart. Okay, so that's um, troublesome. But uh, that is uh, everything. We, we are playing with the standard three encounter set. So we have the pursuit by the past in play. And we are ready to begin. I'm just doing the last shuffle to the uh, 
encounter deck and my own deck before we draw our opening hand. So we'll get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, this will. This is my blind playthrough of this scenario. So if I make any game uh, or play mistakes, note those in the comments, and I'll play better next time. Okay, well we are getting a decent start. So we have side by side, which is not that useful uh, just yet. Energy, concussive blow, blast. Uh, I think we need this to defeat the Shadow King immediately. Uh, genius. Malcolm and Bishop's uniform. Uh, I didn't have this in my last game with Bishop, so after you resolve Bishop's energy absorption ability, exhaust Bishop's uniform, heal one damage from Bishop for each resource card in your hand. That's not that useful yet, it might be later, but I'm, I'm definitely wanting to play this one. Uh, I'm getting rid of that, and we are not probably playing Malcolm either. Yeah, so I'm uh, getting rid of Malcolm too. So drawing two more cards. Another side by side and team trading, which are not that useful at the moment. Okay, so we'll go to Bishop. So we will play. No, uh, I'm just going to hit the top of, of the Shadow King. Then I am going to play the Concussive Blast. So deal 6 damage to an enemy if you paid this event with a resource card Ready Bishop. So I'm using Energy and I'm using uh, Side by Side for to play the Concussive Blast. So Shadow King is defeated and it is Victory 3, so it goes into the Victory Display, which is over here. Okay, and we Ready Bishop because we used... Uh, uh, resource card to play that. Next, um, I think I'm setting up just uh, so I'll play Bishop's uniform and I'm discarding that. And uh, then, well, not yet, but later. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, uh, I'm just going to hit the top of. of um, Apocalypse. Then we will ready. I'll discard this, draw five, one, two, three, four, five. Command authority, advanced suit, team training, suit up, and supercharged. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat per player, so one. Apocalypse hits for two damage and uh, Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, defend, let's see, okay, uh, so we'll take two plus uh, one, uh, nothing, so boost after this activation resolves place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the shadow past and uh, Okay, so we are taking one damage so we discard one card and it is not a Resource card so it just gets discarded and we take one damage And after you resolve bishops energy absorption ability exhaust bishops uniform heal one damage from bishop for, uh, for its resource card in your hand we have none at the moment, so that's bad. Okay, and that is the... Uh, yeah, we still get an encounter card. It is hard drive. It is a minion with two scheme and one attack. Dark Riders traded, four hit points, teamwork, Dark Riders. Uh, force response after hard drive attacks, you place one threat on the eat scheme, so we need to get rid of that guy. But that is the first... Uh, villain phase, we'll go to the next hero phase. I think we need to try and figure out how to get rid of the uh, hard drive. Or just go to Alder Ego for a bit. Uh, Uh, 
Mm, I would like to play an ally. So I am using the suit up, uh, maybe. Yeah, this guy is really, really uh, throwing a wrench in my plans here. Um, I can't remember if I have a two cost ally. I think I have, but yeah. I think I'll do a setup turn here, so I'll just play supercharged. Then I will play Yeah, I'll play the command authority. So I will remove three threats from a scheme. If you pay this card with a resource card, draw one card. I don't have a resource card. So I'm using the suit up and uh, advanced suit to play that one. And I will remove all threats from here. I'll go to Alter Ego, so uh, after you change to this form, add a Temporal card in your discard pile to your hand. Temporal, do we have any Temporal? We have Malacom. Okay. That's not really useful at the moment, but it is what it is. So uh, that is our turn, we're ready up. I think I'll get rid of uh, Team training. Uh, one, two, three, four, five cards. Uh, we get side by side suit up, Randall, team training, and stored energy. And we have Malcolm. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat. Uh, um, actually, we should have added two threat last turn because there's an acceleration token, but the event removed three, so we're good. So we're adding two. Apocalypse schemes for one plus three. Okay, so four, we are at six, eight, and the threshold is nine. Uh, actually, it's eight. Yeah, uh, I've put one health too much on Apocalypse. It's uh, The hit points are 8 on the level 1, and there are 9 on the level 2, so I was looking at the 9 when I was setting up. Okay, so... When the main scheme is completed, remove all threat from it. Uh, flip this card and reveal Apocalypse Phase 2. So steady and toughness, 9 hit points. Then, uh, force in a rot when the main scheme is completed, remove all threat from it, ignoring all crisis items, remove this card from the game, and reveal apocalypse number three. Okay, that's that's not good, but it is what it is, so... Uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is uh, molecular control attached to apocalypse. Uh, apocalypse gains retaliate one and stalwart. Uh, okay, well... That's not good, but it is what it is, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. First off, I think I want to play... I think I want to play at least Randall. Or Malcolm. I'll play Malcolm. I haven't played him before. So action discard a resource card from your hand. Ready Malcolm. If that card had a printed uh, physical resource, I can heal one damage from Malcolm. Limit once per phase. So we're playing Malcolm using the stored energy and um, side by side. Okay. Uh, we'll flip to hero mode. And we are just defeating the hard drive. 
this round and uh, I'm actually going to play team trading. Play under any player's control, max one per player. Each ally you control gets plus one hit point. That's uh, nice to have early on. We ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, lead from the front, marrow, lead from the front, advance to it and store the energy. We'll go to the villain phase, we add two threats here. Apocalypse attacks, bishop will defend. Uh, two plus one is three. Uh, we are defending for one, so we lose... Uh, we had eleven, so we lose two. How can I count, not count? Oh, we're at eight. Okay, so I lost two health, so we are discarding the power of leadership, which we get to grab into our hand with the power absorption. We get an encounter card, and it is the fittest attachment. Attach to the minion with the highest printed hit points, or uh, and give it a tough status card. Otherwise, this card can search. Okay. And uh, Biomorphing attached to Apocalypse. Apocalypse attacks gain overkill. Plus one attack. Okay. So how we get rid of these is by uh, defeating Apocalypse. So then all attachments are removed. Uh, but uh, Apocalypse will heal. So we need to defeat him at some point. But yeah. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we have a bit more resource cards to play with. So I think this round I want to get rid of those attachments. So we might try to defeat Apocalypse somehow. So... Um, I'm using advanced switch and uh, no, uh, I'm using the stored energy to play Marrow. Marrow will deal two damage to an enemy, so we deal two damage to Apocalypse. Then um, I use the power of leadership to play lead from the front. So now they have. Plus one attack and plus one toward. So mm. okay. So three damage. Oh yeah. Apocalypse has retaliated. Yeah, well, I have the team training, so Marrow is fine. Takes two. Same with Malcolm. They're all both uh, having have one hit point remaining, so they hit for six. And uh, unfortunately, I think that is it. Oh yeah, I could have used this, so I'm, I'm uh, using this <laughs> in the last villain phase. Uh, I had two resource cards, so I will heal two damage. Okay. Uh, then, uh, nothing else to do, I think I'll... Just add this to Malcolm. Doesn't do much yet. Mm, a bit. Yeah, I don't have a resource card in my hand. Okay. That is that, so we're ready up. Draw back up to five. 
I get energy conversion, bishop's rifle, command authority, x23, and I have the lead from the front. We'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat here. Apocalypse attacks. Bishop will defend. Uh, I could just draw marrow under the boss here to be ready. I think I'll do that. So marrow def... Uh, yeah, bishop has... Uh, Apocalypse has overkill. Yeah, so whatever. Uh, we need to have a bishop ready so B bishop can just defeat Apocalypse. Okay, so 3 plus 1, 4 damage. So 1 goes here, 3 goes here. And we discard 3 cards from here. One, two, three. We get this in hand and we can do this to heal one damage. Okay. Encounter card is the Apocalypse Solution. When defeated, discard the top X cards of the encounter deck where X is the numeral in Apocalypse printed hit points value. Okay, so this will just uh, ramp up. Oh yeah, and it has a crisis icon, so we need to get rid of that before we can thwart that, and etc. And that is the villain phase, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Hmm, I would like to heal Malcolm, but I don't think that helps that much. So I, th I think instead I will play Command and Authority and uh, use stored energy to play it. I'll remove three threat from here, draw a card, then uh, we will need to, when defeated, discard the top X cards and count the deck where X is the numeral in Apocalypse's printed hit points value, so it's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I think Bishop will hit here, so these get discarded. Well, when Apocalypse would be defeated, discard each attachment from him and heal all damage from him. Instead, remove X threat from this, where uh, scheme ignoring uh, uh, cost. Okay, so we remove these threats also, and Apocalypse will be back to nine health. But we got rid of the overkill and uh, retaliate and stalwart. Okay, uh, then I think I would like to play cable or bishop's rifle actually. So. Yeah, I'll play. Hmm. I'm actually playing cable. I'm using these four because cable can. Uh, defeat this side scheme so when defeated the first player reveals a random set aside prelate minion deal each other player an encounter card flip this card over the towering citadel threat cannot be removed from this scheme while a prelate minion is in play when defeated the first player reveals a random set aside prelate minion deals each other player an encounter card reveal the tyrant's throne side scheme and remove this card from the game so this has three threat on it. Now, oh yeah, one consequential damage here. 
Again, I'm just shuffling these and picking one at random and I'll pick the one at the bottom and I'll stop uh, right about now. We get Mr. Sinister. So Mr. Sinister is one scheme, one attack, retaliate, toughness, villainous, victory three. Mr. Sinister engages the first player, five health. So we need to deal with that next round. And uh, I'm actually going to alter ego. We don't want them to hit me. And we'll ready up. And we draw one, two, three, four, five, six. We get an extra encounter card for next round. We shuffle our deck. Ready up. Okay, and uh, we have energy conversion, legion, the power of leadership, strength, sidekick, and sew it up. Okay, so. I think we want the uh, sidekick on cable, but we'll go to the villain phase. We add uh, three threat here. Apocalypse schemes for two plus two is four. Uh, we're at seven and Mr. Sinister for one plus nothing. Uh, place two threat on the gene pool. Okay. So we are at 8 and uh, Apocalypse has printed hit points of 9 so we don't advance yet. We get uh, 2 encounter cards. We get Barrage. After Barrage attacks you deal 1 damage to each character you control that we need to defeat. And we get Drawing Mirror. False response. After your turn begins discard the top card of your deck. Place 1 Pursuit counter on Pursuit by the past. For each printed resource icon on that card, alter ego action, discard an identity specific card from your hand, discard this card. Okay, I'll leave it here so I remember better. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we have to figure out how we can defeat everything. So... Uh, yeah. After your turn begins, discard the top card of your deck, place one pursuit counter on the pursuit by the pass for each resource icon on that card. So we get two counters there, that sucks. And we lose that. At least it's temporal, so we get that in our hand. But we want to get rid of that, so discard an identity specific card. I think we can get rid of the energy conversion to discard this. Then... Um, hmm... I think I will use... Uh, I could play Legion. I'll play power by, uh, the power of leadership to suit up. Search your deck and discard pile for an ally and an upgrade that can be attached to that ally. Add them to your hand. So we'll pick Marrow. And we'll pick uh, Advanced Switch. Uh, I pick Marrow because I want to deal 2 damage to uh, Mr. Sinister. Oh yeah, Mr. Sinister has toughness, damn. That, that's, okay, we want to defeat Barrage. So we can just use Marrow to defeat Barrage by himself. So we'll flip to Hero Mode. I'll use uh, Strength to play Marrow. Deal 2 damage here and we'll kill off uh, Barrage. Then I will use the advanced suit to play sidekick on cable. 
So now Cable has plus two hit points and is your sidekick uh, response after you make a basic recovery, heal two damage from attached ally. So we can keep Cable around for longer. And then uh, uh, I think I just want to get rid of Mr. Sinister because as long as he's in play we can't get rid of any threat from there. So I will hit the tough off, retaliate one, we take one damage and it's not an attack so uh, after you resolve bishop's energy absorption, it's only from attacks, right. So we'll hit, no, uh, we'll use Malcolm to hit for two damage here. And well, Malcolm is defeated. But Cable can hit for 3 damage, defeat Mr. Sinister, goes into the victory display, and doesn't take the retaliate. Of course, takes 2 consequential damage. And that is it. Uh, we're ready up. We draw one, two, three, four cards. We have side by side, suit up, stored energy side by side. Okay, uh, these actually are useful now because I have the sidekick in play and we have Legion also. We'll go to the villain phase. We will advance. So we'll go to phase three of Apocalypse. Could have uh, removed some threat there, but yeah, I, I didn't know this. And um, uh, Apocalypse now has ten hit points. Okay. We uh, well, Apocalypse will attack. I will defend with Marrow. Oh yeah, Apocalypse has toughness again. So uh, Marrow defends for uh, something. Give the prelate minion a tough status card, otherwise give Apocalypse a tough status card. Well, he already has one. So uh, Marrow is defeated. And counter card is... Wolf among sheep. When revealed, the prelate minion attack activates against you, otherwise Apocalypse activates against you. Okay. I will defend with Bishop. 3 plus 1 is 4. And we take only 3 damage. 1, 2, 3. We don't get any. Okay. After we resolve Bishop energy absorption. Exhaust Bishop Uniform, heal one damage from Bishop. Uh, I have one resource card in my hand, so I'll heal one, so I ended up taking two damage on. And uh, I think that was it, yeah. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, I think. So Cable has one health remaining, so I will thwart for two here. I will use uh, stored energy to play side by side and uh, ready your sidekick, ready your hero and choose one. Heal one damage from both characters, I will do that. Then Uh, I will thwart one here. So this is defeated. Um, when defeated, the first player reveals a random set aside prelate minion deal each each other uh, player an encounter card. Reveal the tyrant's throne side scheme and remove this card from the game. So we get the tyrant's throne. It has four threat on it. 
and uh, we shuffle these three. I'm not looking, and we get one, uh, three, two, one, zero. We call Rasputin, and these two are not used in the game anymore, or there might be. I'm not sure. So toughness victory three. Okay. Mm. I think I'll discard Legion and Sidepass and or or use them to play Suda and we'll get Marrow. And uh, we'll get Yeah, I don't have the resources to play Marrow. This plan doesn't work. Okay, back up. I'll just use the resources to play side by side. So I'm using uh, Suda and Legion to play side by side, so we're ready. And uh, okay, before that, I hit the tough off, and then we ready. Heal, heal, and uh, I think we need to defeat Mikhail Rasputin, so we'll defeat it. But uh, unfortunately, Cable, well, uh, actually, Cable has one more hit point left. So, uh, Cable is at 5 damage, but has 3, 4, 5, 6, so that we're okay. Okay, uh, we'll go to... I will stay in hero mode. Draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a supercharge, command authority, energy conversion, con Concussive Blast and Team Training. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add four threat to the main scheme. And uh, Apocalypse hits for three. I'll defend. Uh, after this activation, resolve place one pursuit, counter on the pursuit by the past. So, yeah. This is not good because after you place a pursuit counter here, if the number of counters here is at least three more than the number of players remove each counter here, if your nemesis minion is in play, it activates against you, otherwise flip this card over. So we are doing that after uh, the attack resolves. So three, uh, we'll take two, we discard two, and we'll take this in hand. Then we use this to heal one. Then uh, this resolves. So we flip this. After you flip to this side, find your nemesis minion and reveal it. So set aside area of your for your nemesis side scheme and reveal it. Shuffle your remaining set aside nemesis set into the encounter trap. Flip this card over. Okay. So we get uh, Trevor Fitzroy. It has quick strike, which is bad. Then we put portal through time into play. Suddenly things are not looking that good. And it has a acceleration icon. Then we shuffle this into the <laughs> very, very thin encounter deck. And uh, Trevor has quick stride, so he'll just hit for three damage. I'm just taking it and uh, I'll discard one, two, three, no uh, resource cards. So, yeah, forced interrupt. When temporal card is revealed, it gains search limit once per phase. Okay, it means from here, I think. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Mm, I would really want to get rid of Trevor Fitzroy. 
So I could play Concussive Blast to just destroy it. Oh yeah. I'll use this. Uh, I actually played this when Trevor Fitzroy hit me for. So I'll shuffle all of my resource cards into my deck from my discard. And I can't take more than three damage, which I already took. So yeah. Just so we have a really high, high chance of drawing uh, resource cards. Okay. Well, that didn't change much. I'm still going to use the power of leadership, uh, supercharge, and uh, team training to play concussive blast to just destroy Trevor Fitzroy after Trevor Fitzroy attacks and defeats an ally. Uh, okay. So we'll just destroy him. And uh, if you play this event with a resource card, ready bishop. So I'm readying bishop. Okay. Um, I think we want to get rid of this. So unfortunately, we have to do it like so. Uh, we'll just. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I think we'll uh, endure it for one round probably. So I'm just uh, going to Alter Ego. I am healing for four. Okay, when you, uh, after you change to this form, add a temporal card in your discard pile to your hand. Uh, do we have any good temporal cards? We have the Bishop Trifle. Mm. We have Randall, Amalcolm. I think the rifle could be good. No, I'll take um, Malcolm. And I'm healing for four. So uh, Cable also heals for two damage. Then Cable can uh, thwart for two here, or no, I'll thwart for two here. And we're ready. I'll draw back up to six. One, two, three, four cards. We have Command Authority times two. Stored energy, power of leadership, team training, and Malcolm. Okay. We have a slight chance here. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add uh, one, two, three, four, five here. Uh, Apocalypse schemes for two plus one is three, so we'll go over and this flips to phase four. After this we lose. So of course when the main scheme is completed the players lose the game. We get an encounter card. Oh yeah, and Apocalypse has now 11 hit points and toughness and stalwart and whatever. And uh, we get Gauntlet. Uh, after Gauntlet attacks you discard an upgrade you control. It doesn't matter. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, now we probably want to heal. So that we can heal Cable also. Uh, We really don't need to heal. I think Cable just will thwart and uh, 
After that we'll have to try and somehow defeat Apocalypse next round. So I'm just flipping to hero mode. And uh, Cable will thwart here. So Cable is at 5 damage. Oh yeah, after Cable thwarts and defeats a side scheme draw one card that I think I forgot last round. So we get another stored energy. So this is removed. When defeated, the first player uh, reveals a random set aside prelaid minion, deal each other player an encounter card. Flip this card over and reveal no longer worthy. Attach the Apocalypse and heal 5 uh, damage per player from him. He cannot take damage while prelaid minion is in play. Ignore the forced interrupt on the main scheme. Forced interrupt when Apocalypse is defeated, the players win the game. So now we have a win condition, uh, but we are still far away from that. I will use uh, team training and stored energy to play Malcolm. Oh yeah. We get one more of these guys. Okay, so we get Abyss. And... Uh, Toughness victory tree. That sucks. So, um, can we defeat that uh, Abyss this round? So, Abyss gets plus two hit points for each face down card attached to him and engages the first player. Uh, Force response after Abyss at activates against you, attach the top card of your deck to him face down. Okay, so Abyss will just get stronger. So we can't defeat Apocalypse before we defeat Abyss. And we also have Gauntlet in play, so this is not looking that good. Mm. Okay, I'm using Stored Energy to play this to remove three from here. We draw a card, suit up. Mm. I am using suit up. To find marrow. And also advanced suit. And I'll use command and authority and advanced suit to play marrow. I will deal two damage here. Uh, damn, I'm one damage short. Oh well. We deal 2 damage and we deal a total of 4 damage to Abyss. Next round we need to defeat it. And we're ready. Oh yeah, we have Malcolm also. So we can defeat it. Yeah. Okay. We are ready up. Now we only need to defeat uh, Apocalypse. We draw one, two, three, four, five cards. We have energy, strength, advanced suit, genius, and stored energy. So, okay. Uh, we go to the villain phase. We add uh, only two threats. Apocalypse hits for three. I'll take it with Bishop. Uh, place two threat on gene pool, whatever. Then um, we take three damage. Uh, I'm not even marking it. So we discard one, we get an extra encounter card. But we'll use this to heal. Heal one damage from this. Uh, for each resource card in your hand, we have one, two, three, four. So we heal four. Then Gauntlet with, will hit me. Uh, 
and I'll take two damage. I'll discard two from my deck. It's uh, no resource cards. And uh, after Gauntlet hit attacks, you discard an upgrade you control. I'll discard the Bishop's uniform. We'll get an encounter card. We get two. We get the uh, Temporal Trickery. Discard a card in your hand with the most printed resource icons. Place one threat on each scheme for each resource icon. Damn, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm just discarding one of these. So, uh, two here and two there. So I'll just replace these with a pen. And two here. Okay, that's not that bad. Then we get dark designs. Place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Then if it has any counters on it, the villain schemes. Okay, villain schemes for one. Uh, 3 plus 2, so 5, so we are at 9, which is not the threshold, it is 11, so we didn't lose yet. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, I think the key to victory here is the supercharge, so I'm discarding 1, 2, 3, uh, chart. Uh, uh, energy cards. So I will use this uh, marrow to hit off the tough. I'll use Malcolm to hit two damage here. And uh, take one consequential damage. And I'll use cable to hit for three damage. Mm, cable is defeated. And I will discard supercharge to be plus six and I'll hit for eight and defeat uh, Apocalypse. So we made it. Of course I was playing on the easy, easy version here but this is a really complex and tough scenario. But uh, I think I played it correctly and we managed to win Apocalypse in the third scenario of the box with Bishop's pre uh, leadership deck. So ooh, that was a quite interesting game uh, and um, interesting mechanics in the game. But yeah, that was uh, Apocalypse uh, with Bishop's uh, pre leadership deck. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.